Royal University. <laughs> hey there, friends. It's me, Pete the Penguin, and today I'm taking you on an amazing journey to meet some of the most fabulous birds in the world, flamingos. You're in for a real treat because these birds are as fascinating as they are fancy. So let's dive right in and learn all about them. First things first, just look at these birds. Aren't they spectacular? Flamingos are known for their beautiful pink feathers, long legs, and super bendy necks. But did you know that they aren't born pink? Nope! Baby flamingos, called chicks, are actually gray or white when they hatch. So where do they get that fabulous pink color? It's all about what they eat. Flamingos love to munch on tiny shrimp, algae, and other little creatures that are packed with something called carotenoids. Carotenoids are the same pigments that make carrots orange and tomatoes red. When flamingos eat these, their bodies turn those pigments into the pink color we all know and love. The more they eat, the pinker they get. Speaking of eating, have you ever seen how a flamingo eats? It's pretty wild. They have these really cool beaks that are bent in the middle. When flamingos feed, they stick their heads upside down in the water and use their beaks to scoop up food. Then they filter out the water in mud leaving just the tasty stuff behind. It's like having a built-in strainer. Now, you might have noticed that flamingos love to stand on one leg. You might be wondering, why do they do that? Well, scientists believe it helps them save energy and stay warm. When flamingos stand on one leg, they can tuck the other leg up close to their body, keeping it warm and toasty. Plus, standing on one leg helps them balance while they rest. Pretty clever, right? Flamingos aren't just graceful on the ground, they're also incredible flyers. Even though they spend a lot of time wading in the water, flamingos can fly long distances. In fact, they sometimes travel hundreds of miles to find food or the perfect place to nest. When they take off, it's like a big pink parade in the sky. Speaking of nesting, let's talk about where flamingos lay their eggs. These birds are master builders, but instead of using twigs or leaves, they make their nests out of mud. They scoop up mud with their beaks and pile it up into a little mound right in the shallow water. On top of that mound, they lay a single egg. It's like a tiny, muddy island just for their chick. Once the chick hatches, it's pretty wobbly on its feet. But don't worry, it doesn't take long for the little one to learn how to walk, swim, and even start practicing that one-legged flamingo stance. And before you know it, the chick is all grown up and joining the rest of the flock in those fabulous flamingo activities. Did you know there are actually six different species of flamingos? That's right! While most of them are that lovely shade of pink, some are lighter and some are darker, depending on where they live and what they eat. There's the greater flamingo, which is the largest and can be found in Africa, Europe, and Asia. Then there's the lesser flamingo, which is a bit smaller and lives in Africa and India. And let's not forget the American flamingo, which has the brightest pink feathers of all and can be found in the Caribbean. One of the most amazing things about flamingos is their group dance. When it's time to find a mate, flamingos gather together in huge groups and start moving in perfect sync. They march, twist their necks, and flap their wings all at the same time. It's like a big fancy dance party, and it helps them find the perfect partner. Let's take a closer look at those feet. Flamingos have webbed feet, just like ducks, which help them walk on soft, squishy ground without sinking. Their feet also help them paddle through the water when they're swimming or wading. And those long legs? They're perfect for keeping their bodies out of the water while they search for food. Flamingos are truly one of nature's most beautiful creations. They're graceful, colorful, and full of personality. Whether they're flying through the sky, wading through the water, or showing off their dance moves, flamingos never fail to impress. So, the next time you see a flamingo, remember all the amazing things that make them so special. Well, that's all for today, my fabulous friends. I hope you had as much fun learning about flamingos as I did. Remember, the world is full of incredible creatures just waiting to be discovered. So, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and I'll see you next time for another wild adventure. Until then, stay cool and keep flapping those wings, just like a flamingo. Subscribe for more videos. <laughs>